Well, there's a definite chill in the air, and that means it will soon be ski season. Officials at many Pocono ski resorts are cautiously optimistic that they will eventually open their slopes even during the pandemic. In fact, they have committed to a set of safety guidelines called the Pocono Promise, meaning they will do everything they can to keep the slopes safe. And it looked a lot like winter in the Poconos this morning. A dusting of snow was on the ground in East Stroudsburg. Kate, that's not enough snow to ski or shovel, but that's a nice amount to look at. Yes, yeah. it's ambiance flakes yeah, coming down. A beautiful sight there this morning. If you were up early enough to see it, you may have seen some flurries out your window as well. We even had them around the city at about 6 o'clock in the morning. I was not up that early, but a lot of my kids' friends on the Zoom meetings, the virtual school, were talking about seeing some flurries outside. You know, kids are up that early. Philadelphia right now is clear and dry. It's a beautiful night. It is cold. It is still breezy, but at least it's dry. We don't have any more of the severe weather that we we had Monday, and it looks like we won't be seeing any more flurries here tonight either. Temperature wise, we're dropping quickly now that the sun has gone down. Temperatures in the 30s in Lancaster, Reading, and Allentown. 40 right now in the city, 40 in Atlantic City, and still hanging on to the mid 40s in spots like Wildwood and Georgetown. But it feels a whole lot colder than that. We are still in the low 40s. Feels like 33 degrees right now in Philadelphia, though. Feels freezing or below north and west. Feels like the 20s in the Poconos, and it feels like 37 right now in Atlantic City. It's dry for now. Snow showers have moved off to the north. High pressure building in behind the system that brought us the severe weather Monday, of course, and the snow showers overnight. It's dry, and it will stay that way at least for tomorrow. But then on Friday, we're tracking yet another system moving in from the south. Tonight's low 31 degrees, mainly clear, crisp, and cold. Tomorrow, another cool day, but it's seasonably chilly, mostly sunny. It's actually a really nice day. The high around 50 with a light breeze from the west at about 5 to 10 miles per hour. Let's take a look at our model comparison. These are two of our main models we look at when we're watching a storm coming in, and there is some significant differences. There are some significant differences in timing with this weekend system. The GFS model, that's our United States model, it is a slower system, so it brings showers in Friday evening, but just light showers. Then Saturday is when we start to see the heavy rain. The latest run of this model is a little bit faster. You can see by late Saturday night into early Sunday morning, this is ending, and then Sunday is dry. Yesterday, it was lingering the precipitation into Sunday. So we're starting to come a little bit closer into agreement. The European model is more progressive. It's faster. So the rain gets in earlier Friday, rain around through Friday night into Saturday morning, and then by midday Saturday, it's pretty much over. Both of these systems, though, could feature a brief changeover to a wintry mix on the back edge of the storm. It's mainly for areas north and west of Philadelphia. So we're looking at showers late Friday, rain through Saturday. It may end by Saturday midday if the storm's a little faster. But the question is, how quickly will the cold rush in behind that storm? Quickly enough, perhaps, to change it over to a little bit of snow, at least in the Poconos Saturday afternoon or evening. Both models now agree that Sunday will be drying out. It'll be clearing colder, but sunny at 44 degrees. A cold start to next week, low 40s Monday and Tuesday, but we'll start to warm up at least a little bit by Wednesday. Yuki, back over to you. Okay, thank you.